Do you ever wonder what it felt like to be at the business end of an Ultima Evolution convertible? Well, here I am under the rear clam in the engine bay. I'm fitting the aero catch latch system. And uh, now I know what this feels like. Let's get after it. Time to retrieve the body parts from my storage unit. By the way, you can see my 85 Supra here that's been sitting in hibernation uh, for over a year now while I'm underway with this build. But uh, let's get these body parts loaded on the trailer back to the garage so we can fit those arrow catch latches. So I picked up the latches. You can see here, there's the part number. These are supposed to be the extreme, which all that means is these pins, the latch pins are steel instead of aluminum, but everything else looks to be the same. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. What I'm thinking of doing uh, is gonna be removing the old latch system. There's one on each side. I'm going to be removing those and I'm going to have to make a little bracket that this pin will then sit on. Somewhat of an L bracket or something that this pin sits on, on this side. And then on the rear clam, got that over here. I'm running out of space in this garage. I'm going to put the uh, latch mechanism right here on the top side of the clam kind of in alignment with that, where the factory pin is, this latch mechanism will sit somewhat like that. Um, and again, do that on, uh, on the other side too. So that is the plan for the rear. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be what I do for the rear and the front. Similarly, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is put the pin somewhere in here. So this will install and obviously sink down into the into the side of the side pod. But that will go there on each side. And then similarly, I will install that arrow catch mechanism right on the side of the of the front canopy clamshell. So that's what I'm up to. We'll see uh 
we'll see how this goes. Um, but uh, I think it'll be a lot better mechanism versus the cable pull system that's in that. I've heard a few builders say that it's, it's somewhat of a pain. The cable pulls kind of hard um, and not too convenient. So simple arrow catch latches, I think will do the trick. So if you're not familiar with the arrow catch latch system, let me show you how this works. Uh, there's really two components. There's the latching pin that you install on the body and then the latching mechanism that you install on the hood or trunk or wherever you're going to install these things. Um, so as you can see inside, there's a pin that rotates back and forth and then this pin, if it's, if it's in your body, you make sure you line up carefully and then the pin goes through the latch body or the, the, the securing pin goes through the mounting pin, the body pin, and that's what latches it into place. And so that's how that works. Uh, and then there's a, there's a trim ring right here. This gets attached to the underside. This is what sandwiches, you sandwich the body in between the hood clam or the trunk clam, the rear clam. You sandwich uh, the latching mechanism with this bracket in the body and uh, away you go. So that's how that works. And my mission is to get this set up on the car. And you cut these, these pins to length um, based on the height you need. So you cut it to length and then it's got this rubber um, isolator so that when the body comes down on it, it's got a nice rubber, firm but rubberized cushion to secure on. Here's the latest uh, version I've got here. Just a simple bracket I'll cut on the plasma table bend. And then I think what I'll do is just a little gusset under here as well to give it some additional strength. But I'm reusing the original holes that are in the fiberglass. And then I took the original factory pins off of here. And again, there's a couple holes here left behind, but those are actually gonna get cut out. And here's my plan. So notice how this is kind of indented here, this little area. I think what I'm gonna do is just do a clean line and just cut this piece out. And what that will do is as this comes down, as that comes down on this area, See where it starts to interfere right there. So that'll cut a slot in there. So this bracket system will just slide right into that channel and be good to go there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do here. And then of course the arrow catch latch piece will go up here and the pin will get installed right there and then I can adjust the height of the pin plenty of adjustment there so that is the the current plan for arrow catch latches and then on the front clam I'm gonna do something a little different here's where the factory latch is I'll just remove that on both sides 
And then as I mentioned, I'll do a pin right here and then put the latch mechanism actually right on the side here and just come up through. There's plenty of, there's a good spot for it there. And then before I get the side pods mounted permanent, I'll get the, uh, the pin bolted in from the underside as well. So that's the plan, let's get after it. Here's version three of the bracket for the arrow catch pin. Um, version four, the final version I ended up with, all I did was I just, rather than make this a hole, I made it a slot. And so what that does is, that, is, that allows you to adjust the pin back and forth just a little bit. So, much better. And all I did to bend these, um, just put it in the vise and use the hammer. I don't have a, a sheet metal brake that's that's uh, stout enough to bend. This is 10 gauge steel, so, uh, and it's super rigid. In fact, with it in the, with it in the car, what you see give is actually the fiberglass here, um, which I'm not worried about because the, once, the, once the clam is resting on its position, it actually sits on these posts right here that are molded into the fiberglass. So um, there's no stress. There's really no stress being put on um, this side of the panel other than the, the pin holding the clam down. So uh, should work out great. All right, here's a pretty good shot of this new uh, arrow latch or arrow catch bracket system I made. You can see where I've made the outline for the pin, use the pin as the actual um, hole target for where the, the latch mechanism is gonna go. That is the setup. I'll do the same on the other side and we'll get these arrow catch mechanisms cut into the top of the, of the rear clam.
All right, <laughs> that's a major, major step forward uh, with this, cutting into this uh, rear clam, the visible side that is. So let me show you what we got. So the hole is cut. You can see the pin now, pin bracket through the hole. And this just sets in there. Nice. So I still got to drill the mounting holes here, but uh, that's no big deal. Put the pin in. It looks like it's lining up with the, the hole, which is good. That's a good sign. So not bad. Let's finish it up. Wow, first shot. I just put the pin in and uh, you can see it. It's pretty well lined up as is. I think I have to go to make the, put the pin a little bit lower, but uh, engages the hole perfectly. That is sweet. So one side done. I may have to uh, slide that pin just backwards a little bit. Adjust the pin so rearward a little bit just to make it easy opening the clamp. So one side done, one more to go. Second one down. Nice, perfect hole. And uh, yeah, this guy sets in there. Perfect. 
Perfect fit. All right, I'll get these uh, mounting holes drilled and then uh, we'll test the pin. Looks like the hole's lined up down there. So should be good to go. All right, a quick powder coat job on the brackets and uh, put it all back together. And the rear is done. Very happy with it, I think it came out great. All right, now we're gonna move on to the arrow catch latches on the front clam. Just finished the rear, now we're gonna do the front. So as you can see, I've got the, the center cockpit uh, panel on again, just trying to get these panels generally aligned to where they're gonna go permanent. Uh, and as I suspected with this front clam sitting in storage through the summer, through the winter, um, the fiberglass has seemed to move a bit, so some of the body seams are super tight on one side, uh, fairly big on another, and in general, it just, it's, it's sticking at the far end too. So this is gonna need some, some tuning and tweaking. So I decided what I'm gonna do, is, so the arrow catch latch is gonna go here on the side, the pin is gonna go on the um, side pod panel I think I'll get the pin installed, but I'll wait in installing the latch until after the body is all in place permanently. Again, this center pod is not secured at all whatsoever, aside from a couple of Clecos when the, uh, the prefit holes are lined up. But uh, in general, it's starting to look like a car now with the, with the body panels in place, pretty cool. So I'm gonna get the pins in, which requires taking off the side pods, which is gonna require basically undoing all the body work here uh, that I put in place in order to install this arrow catch system. So let's get to it. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want all right, I'm done for the with the latches for now. And what I decided to do while I had the rear bulkhead out was to carpet it because uh, once it's in the car for the final time, carpeting would be very difficult with the roll bar in the way. So here I am making a template out of some uh, masking paper and uh, going to make the car uh, cut out the carpet and install it. Bring us down, bring us down, bring us down. 
can bring us down.